uh, Vinny ma'am also touch upon the otitis media with effusion, which is also very common in today's scenario because we'll see lots of children with uh, upper respiratory tract infection. They are coming with uh, uh, single-sided ear pain. So generally, what happens when they are when they are having a acute respiratory tract infection? The virus and the bacteria can travel through the extension tube into the middle ear. Middle ear being a very very narrow space, it's hardly 0.3 to 0.5 ml space, and it's all surrounded by a bony structures except the tympanic membrane. So there's a lot of congestion, a lot of fluid formation. Infection keeps on growing, and they start start pressing on the tympanic membrane. The child will come to you with a with this very severe pain and a decreased hearing because we see the physiology the outer ear is having a air and the middle ear is filled with fluid so there is a change in the shift and medium so the, when the sound travels from one medium to the other medium it is the damping of the energy so the children will present with a decrease uh, like, like muffled voice that the sound is coming as if it's coming to the water and the severe pain and having a history of urti so then we should be very careful in managing this situation because if we don't manage on right time then the children can present with something called acute suppurative otitis media when the, the discharge like bursts to the tympanic membrane and comes out into the outer ear canal so um, catching the identification of a disease and awareness of the patient should also be there so that ki both doctor and patient can uh, touch upon the topic and and give a good result to the patients